taken about a month. I have dropped the keel, removed the keel, cut out the weldermint, refiberglass back in the weldermint, repainted the keel trunk, scraped back the keel, replaced the keel bolt, epoxied the keel bolt back in, applied an epoxy barrier over the keel, painted the keel, grinded back the hangers so the keel should uh, fit snugly uh, in the trunk. Moment of truth, I'm going to put the keel back in and hopefully uh, I'll be back on the water tomorrow. So here we go. Now the boat's uh, up off the trailer about four inches. I've uh, started to uh, rig the keel. Using the ropes and uh, sling and also the come along, I'm gonna pull the keel slowly back in under the boat and, uh, and reattach it. So I've got the keel resting on the uh, trailer now. I'm going to slide the uh, sled out and hopefully uh, slowly jimmy the uh, keel back into place. So we've got the keel back underneath, uh, now we're just uh, lowering the boat back down and uh, we'll attach the keel. So we've got the boat uh, back down on the trailer, um, the keel seems to be uh, sitting in the trunk pretty well, now it's about uh, Time to line up the bolts and uh, put on the hangers. The holes of the weldments and the hangers aren't matching up. So I'm going to use a come along and try and uh, just pull it along about half an inch. Finally got the uh, keel uh, lined up with the, the bolts, so I'm going to uh, put them in now. It's uh, been a long day too, uh, about eight hours. The sun goes down pretty quickly now in winter. Interesting, I couldn't line up the bolts correctly until I pulled in the keel winch. So the keel was horizontal with the hull. So I'm going to put a bit of Loctite on the bolts, let it sit overnight, and hopefully uh, tomorrow uh, put it in the water. Yeah, I think we're done. Got her in. The uh, bolts are tightened up to uh, 30 pound, and uh, hey, I'm going for a beer.
you know, if you really want to get to know your boat, it's uh, one way to learn uh, a lot about your boat is to remove the keel. So it's been a great experience. If you ever have a Catalina 22, I recommend uh, you know checking out the keel, removing the keel. You'll learn a lot. It's a water test. Let's see if she leaks. Well, so far so good. No, uh, no leaks. Check down here the weldermen here. You can have a look. No leaking. Go out, go out into a little bit deeper water and then uh, let down the keel and uh, see how she goes. Yeah.